Yeah. Before that, we should probably drop Gravi off. <laughs> she looks disappointed in that. She, she, she was so excited at the prospect of breaking it into him. I mean, she, she's really good at it, though. <laughs> Honestly, she has more like expertise and experience than we do. So uh, Aiden just sighs. Fine, you can come, but no torturing. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I, I did not agree to bring Gravy on this one. I... <laughs> She's fine. It'll be a, it'll be an enriching experience for her. Oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna uh, before we get in. I'm gonna go to one of the styles. I'm assuming since this, you know, a festival, there's probably a lot of uh, face masks, right? Yes, that's correct. There's plenty of masks around. I'm gonna look for a dragon-shaped mask and I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna put it on the gravy. Perfect. Like, she has a very dragon-shaped mask now going down. It has small horns coming off. She makes sure to tuck them into some of the holes in her hood. Make sure to keep it on at all times so nobody sees your face, okay? She nods. And then Aiden goes She's into his little, little spiel was uh, uh, he gives her the mask uh, oh, about dragons. Oh, this is why they're cool. This is why they're awesome. And it's not about having tails or having fangs or uh, having wings. It's all about the mentality, man. You gotta be stronger, faster, smarter than everybody else. Mm. I was recording this little speech to send to Aiden's mom later. <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> That the other cute. kids uh, look towards you for uh, guidance and uh, protection, so you have to be stronger and be a good leader, good strong leader for them. Mm. As you guys are heading and driving down the streets of Absalom, you can hear the festival starting to go out into the distance, the music and the festivities still there, but you can barely see them at this point as you're going around to reach one of the other arms, the, bus the more business-centric district. And as you are, you finally have a chance to check out, well, your emails and way people can contact you. And as you do, Kuzon, you have been uh, basically offered since you bought the boarding pods so you've gotten a few offers for mechs and the like during this thing you know to fill them up with and one of them is well one of these <coughs> these are the mark 9 paladin raiders the top and the most fully functional engineered boarding pods you could ever have for your boarding pods no matter what these guys will always get the job done Meanwhile, you also have another offer. This offer isn't offered for the bots themselves, but more for they can supply you for parts for bots to build for yourself. And I actually do have a picture which I thought was very Kuzon centric of what your mechs would look like, because I do need tokens <laughs> for them. And since I do, this is what I think Kuzon could build and what it would look like. Ooh, I, I like that. <laughs> oh, and Prava, you also have a message. Boy. It says, we have arrived. It's not from the swarm, is it? I'm going to check the sender on that one. It says the sender is unknown, but it also says to open your mind. Uh, okay, um, Psychic looking to contact me. I'm gonna learn my lesson here. Why don't you guys hold me down for a second? <laughs> just put seatbelts all around you. Is that how they're gonna do it? Just Kuzan, just like, Kuzan's like, got it. And he just like hits a button and the seat just like folds. <laughs> <laughs> As you do that, you see your symbiote start to react, start to twist a moment and go up towards your neck and of course your face before finally you see an image you hear we are here here we have arrived oh you guys made it uh welcome to the pact world are you guys like at absalom now no travel still required before we arrive all right, cool. Um, probably we should definitely meet with somebody in Absalom. Maybe I should set up some sort of meeting. 
Uh, we already have transport. Absalom, packed worlds are here, guiding, capturing. No, they guide. Uh, you guys seem pretty conflicted. Is everything okay? Many are afraid, scared. Some are scared. Yeah, you guys have been experiencing a lot of the same for a long time. Your new experiences are very anxiety inducing. New place, new worlds, rules, regulations. And some are afraid. So many new opportunities, people to meet, things to see. Correct. Looking forward to new experiences aboard this place. We're, we're happy to have you here. I hope to see you guys in the plush soon. We are glad to see that the little one is growing, becoming more. Yeah, look, he's really uh, starting to, to grow, huh? He's so small, my first Pokemon. How's his, like, mental development? Can you get any communication out of him? I haven't really been able to. He is unable to speak just yet. Close. Soon, he will arrive and be heightened by our appearance. Speaking will become second nature. I'll probably just sends back tons of excited and happy feelings at that. We will see you soon. Good luck with your own activities. And with that, the message vanishes. And the symbiote calls back down from your face. Back to your arm. Guys, our friends are close. Our friends are really close. They met with Absalom's security forces. They're on their way to the station. Where are you going to put them? Where are they going? The space station should be done soon, right? How much longer on that? Have we got any... Wait, so, but you said they were on their way to Absalom. Yeah, they gotta come and, like, at least some of them have to, like, talk to some government officials, you know? Oh, yeah, I'm sure the uh, Absalom station scientists will be overjoyed to see some new live experiments for them to, you know, test. So, as you were talking about this, you're soon coming up on a small apartment complex. Pools in front of the apartment complex. It's a rather fancy place, much fancier than the building that, uh, well, Aiden's place is run out of. Oi! I'm just making an observation. You're making a wrong observation. Correct observation. But yes, you can see a small parking lot off to the right. People are going about their business. It's not as busy as you would expect it to be. Before we storm in there, want me to scout the place out, see what we're dealing with. Mark any escape routes. Uh, Aiden steps out of the car. Give me like uh, two minutes. So, uh, if I don't contact you, assume something went wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, All right, and then we bust in through the window. You have two minutes. We're gonna work what? on jokes, okay? We're gonna Two. work on jokes once uh, we're done with this joke. Four, five, six. Gravity's like looking towards her, eight, looking towards you, nine, Aiden. Ten, uh, 11, 12. Why are you still here? Uh, Gravy, you're in charge of Brian. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. She nods. And with that, Aiden just slips out. T uh, <laughs> um, Ron turns to Gravy and says, um, it says telepathically, scratch that. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> she also nods towards this. <laughs> you trying to keep hidden for anybody who's like looking out the windows and like? Would you roll me stealth, please? And given the architecture of a building, could you also roll me athletics? Bash me for just wanting to bust in through a window, but you're just scaling a wall out in the public. <laughs> Um, yeah, how many people are out around here? There's a few. There's people walking in the streets, but they seem to be like going home, going to work. And as you look away, you look back and you just see Aiden basically into the shadows of the, like, the architecture of a building just 
if you didn't know that he was there, you could you would probably pass him by as well as he's expertly climbing up. Uh, but yeah, Aiden, you climb up and soon you have a fifth floor window. Uh, how tall is this building? How many floors does it have? Uh, seems around about 10 or so. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna peek through one of the windows, see if I can uh, spot uh, the place we're looking for. We don't have, um, uh, you know, information on how this guy looks, but I'm assuming if I get a visual, then Kuzun can probably run a background check on him and figure it out if that's our man. Mm -hmm. As you look through the window, you see two small antennae. And as you do, you notice somebody in a small dress shirt, an undone tie, having a coffee, reading a paper. His hair is all slicked back. Uh, I'm gonna send Kuzun a visual so, and try to get a good look uh, on the guy's face so Kuzun can, uh, you know, run a background check in the cruiser. So, as you look up, essentially, this person seems to be a part of a Reed Foundation. Basically, he is sales representative. He's a guy that goes to the planets and goes back and basically, you know, sells things from said planets. And so it's not like Prava. Actually, yeah, kind of. <laughs> but, Ryan, you actually recognize this person. Well, yeah. sort of. You swear he was one of the uh, people on planets because of his race? Because the Reed Foundation was full of different races, but there was only one of his race there when you first saw them. And okay. what is known as the Lash Hunter. Hey, look at that boy. With his weird ass bug antennas. Right. So I'm going to activate the cloaking field and try to open the window from the outside quietly. Is, does it uh, look like it's gonna open? Uh, give me a sleight of hand. Okay. No jokes about how good I am at this. <laughs> so, as you get rid of a rather simplistic lock, you hear and slowly edge your way in. Your feet are muffled by the cloaking technology. You see him, you do see he has a weapon on him as well, but at the moment he's just drinking his coffee, reading the papers. I'm mm. going to slowly reach out. Is he looking towards his PC? Is it turned on? Mm, it seems like it's on, but it does, the screen's black right now. Uh, I'm going to try to slowly close the screen without him seeing me. Uh, roll me stealth. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you, yeah, you you managed to basically. He, he can't even beat that of his perception. He just seems, mm. and he just turns around for a moment towards the fear, saying, huh, "Like, oh, I must have closed it." Then he turns back towards the paper. As he does that, I'm gonna move behind him uh, and put him in a chokehold and uh, try to choke him out. You have wire for that, don't you? Don't oh you yeah, see? I mean, I have the wire, but uh, I think it's thematically more cool to just put him in a chokehold, but yeah, I'm gonna use my garot, uh, garot wire. Okay, so it's just it's just thematically, oh, that's yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Ideally, I wish he was smoking so I can do j the John Wick thing where I just put even the cigar in his mouth as I choke him out. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just... and you just... And um, the other people, just since the window's open, you guys barely hear a shattering of a mug as it's... Ksh. And soon you hear... Bing, as the buzz on the door goes off. <laughs> let's go, guys, let's go! I'll keep the... Well, I guess I'll go in as well. Uh, you be good, car. Probably is the security guard in the way and he gets <laughs> The security guard just looks up and you know and looks back down. Rabbi gives him finger guns before going as well. Ah yes, the classic finger guns. Right, so you're heading up to a room and oh one second. Let me turn on my light, just you can go upstairs a second. Don't worry, nothing's gonna stop you as you enter the room. The guy is unconscious on the ground right now. Uh, so guys, chair. It depends on where Aiden puts him. As you guys um, uh, head up to the room and uh, knock, Aiden opens the door. 
Sup guys, come in, come in, make yourselves at home. The guy is just sitting uh, in the chair, passed out with the paper on his face. Uh, Brian's gonna go in and try to like get a closer look at him to see if this is actually the guy that she recognized from her planet. Good to see that I don't have to cover through this infiltration, Aiden. I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, who wants some coffee? This guy seems to have some of the good stuff. I'm gonna go make some. I'm gonna go to his computer. Uh, I wait. still want to bust more windows. I can't believe I wasn't invited in the busting windows portion of this heist. Ah, uh, don't I... worry. With our group, it's gonna happen eventually. Uh, by the way, Kuzon, be careful. His PC is on. I just uh, closed it. Uh, he does have a webcam, so, you know, be careful. Don't You don't wanna uh, get spotted. Um... I'll just like <laughs> I'm back. Oh. Sorry, but I had to turn my light. Yeah. So I'll uh I'll plug into Can I access this computer with my bit without opening the thing up again? <laughs> um put tape on. just put just put tape on the webcam. Yeah. <laughs> Your yeah, tape. I'll put a, I'll put a stick of uh yeah, I'll put a stick of tape and then lift up the top of it. Oh, by the way, Ash, I'm brewing coffee right now, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm making myself at home here. I'm brewing coffee. Gravity's just going through his stuff. But as you're plugging into the laptop, basically you see the screen pop up and it says password needed. It seems like this laptop is a little more high tech than an average lock. <laughs> what do you mean to ask for a password? And I just think that's high tech. Nothing. I'm just no, I mean, there's like a several modules in a way. Oh, I see. Um. <laughs> well, I'll uh, I'll engage my uh, my exocortex and uh, I'll I'll try to crack through this with our, with combined work. I also wanted to get a closer look at this guy to see if he is the one that I saw on my planet. Looking at him, you do notice that there's some similarities. Similarities. <laughs> similarities. There's some. Similarities, yes, there are some similarities, but he's also different. He, for once, he's a slightly different color, and his antennae are a bit too long. Mm. It could be related to him. Okay, okay. How long will he be passed out? I kind of like start patting him on the face. Oh, should we tie him up? Is he tied up? Nope, he's not tied up. We should tie him up so he can't get away. Uh. If you're gonna feel more comfortable, I've got some handcuffs on me. Uh, also, maybe we should put a blindfold on him. Probably best if he doesn't see our faces. Oh, yes, that, that too, yes. By the way, don't ask about the handcuffs, okay? I'm a mercenary, I need to be prepared for anything. No and judgment here, no judgment <laughs> here. I'm gonna come out of the kitchen <laughs> with a bunch of mugs uh, of coffee for everybody. Not for Grabivo, she gets uh, apple juice. And I'm gonna put the handcuffs on the table. Knock yourself out. Have fun with them. All right, I get busy securing him. Uh, how many handcuffs do you give me? Uh, one pair. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just use the one. <laughs> just use all of them. <laughs> just slap every more, single one you have. I would have used more. <laughs> this is just Listen. like. Listen, if at any one time you have more than three pairs of handcuffs on you, now that's just a fetish. <laughs> so number one as you're tying him up Kuzon you go through his documents and apparently you like you see stuff like oh I haven't got my bonus yet ask boss for bonus like in a note it's like ask brother for more things to sell and there's also uh, basically also one that says login information to new it's like too high computer and it says password and it says question mark I've gotta ask for the next one okay is uh what kind of goods is this guy usually moving around like is it just like basic stuff is there anything does, do i see any sign that like anything untowards gets moved around by these guys it seems like what they're into is finding new technology. Yeah, mm. like finding new technology from new planets and then sending it on. 
Yoink. <laughs> All right. And this control module, can I, how robust is it? Like, is it, cause like, I know that the price of a, a control module scales up with the price of whatever it's controlling. Is this like a robust control module? Like, is this thick? Yes, it seems very, as you put it, thick. Okay. It seems like it's meant I... to connect to something quite expensive. I, Kuzan is going to, um, I guess it's, cause it's not really, it'd be, there's, but it's not, hmm. All right. So this is going to be tricky. If I, it's like, I found a control module that links to a very a robust system, but if I botch this, then, uh, then it's going to blow up in my face. Um, if you guys think you can squeeze how to access it from him, then that might be much easier. Considering the situation he's in, Safin tells me he's gonna feel rather talkative. I doubt they pay him that well. He still hasn't received his bonus. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, like, <laughs> just like, yeah, I'm really, I'm really sympathetic about your bonus, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I deal with stuff like this all the time. Well, yeah. since Aiden's making himself comfortable, I'll like play Counter Strike on his computer or something. I'm gonna slide a mug of coffee uh, towards you while you're playing. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you're doing this, essentially, Anne's um, very nice tied him up. You can see him go. Uh, uh, what happened? Oh, by the way, I'm, uh, since he's waking up, I'm gonna quickly blindfold him so he doesn't see our faces. Dad, uh, huh? The What's going on? I'm gonna pat him on the head. Shush now, everything's fine, as long as you're quiet and tell us what we wanna know. You listen here, you bad man. I need you to give me information now? Or... Who knows what could possibly happen to you? The world is a scary place. Information? But... I don't even get paid that much. I... Knowing my bank information won't help. No, Look, we... just take whatever's in the apartment and I won't call the police or anything. We don't care about your things. Alright? You work for someone who took something very important from me. And I want that back. Do you understand? Um... Yes. Alright. So this is how it's going to go. I'm going to ask the questions and you're going to tell me the answers. All right. Do you understand? Yes. All right. What do you know about the Reed Foundation? Well, well I work with them. We, we buy technology from undiscovered, well, not undiscovered, but planets in the vast and just set it on here and, you know, maybe replicate it a bit and... Mm hmm So you only buy these things. You don't take them? Well, I, I just sell them on. I, that's what we do. Mm hmm No. What do you know about the bog lock? Oh, that's... <laughs> Well, that's where my, uh, the, my, my, my brother came from. Well, you, you know, from his latest job. Your brother. I need his information. Um, Tiveron is, uh, sensing motive, by the way. What happened? Oh, it Tiveron is sensing motive. motive. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just what did you want to sense motive on? For like any signs of like misinformation or lying. Okay. <laughs> but he does seem right now very, not very receptive to give up any of his brother's information. So like, look, this, I'm sure I can tell you what to know. Just leave him out of this. What, what do you want to know? You don't understand. We know who you are. It's not going to be difficult to find your brother. The thing that is in danger right now is you. Okay? So, what is your brother's name? 
which roll me intimidation. Oh, I'm very bad at that. <laughs> I'm not very good at intimidation. Fuck. <laughs> my guy's like, look, I, I. If you knew about my brother, then you wouldn't be asking me, and I'm not gonna give him up just like that. I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder. Look, buddy. We didn't come here to hurt you, but we will if we have to. So let's try and keep this uh, informative for uh, both our sakes, yeah? The lady here is looking uh, for an item that got taken off that world. And if what you're saying is true, that means your brother would know about that item. As long as we find out what happened, we're gonna get off your hair and we're gonna leave your brother alone. All we want is the item. Help us get our hands on it. And everything will be fine. We'll be out of your hair. You'll never see us again. Hmm, you're trying to be persuasive, are you? Yeah, sort of. I'm, I mean, I am telling the truth, but yeah, I, I would say that goes under okay. persuasion. All right, then uh, diplomacy. Okay. Oh, I'll shoot shit out of his brother. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> yes, of course you're going to ask me to do one of the four skills in the game that I don't have. Never mind, it's fine. Oh, let me see. Okay, that is actually barely enough. So essentially, it's like if 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 you promise, then I can tell you what my brother is. Look, buddy, if I wanted to hurt you, I would have hurt you. I didn't, did I? Don't worry, we're not after your brother's life. All we want is the item. Well, I'm pretty sure someone knocked me out, but uh, you're all right, uh, aren't you? I, I guess I got sore folk now, but... <clears throat> Would you like some coffee? Uh, I had coffee. I think it's gone now. Don't worry. I brought a fresh batch and I'm gonna give him a hot, uh, cup of coffee to his lips. Here, <laughs> <I'm gonna> <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, thank you. Uh, You've got real but... nice coffee, man. You gotta tell me what brand this is. Oh, well, that sort of brand is, uh, you know, it comes from the market down on the fifth arm. It's a lovely little place, a little store. You wouldn't be, you'd be surprised where it comes from. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's get them back on track, please. Oh, oh, of course. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, uh, my brother, you see he's off Absalom right now. He's currently oh. traveling towards the new station that's being built. No station? He's going to be trying to sell them some of Reed's merchandise. Wait, wait, hold on. What station? Well, there's a new station. Don't you know the one that's been built above Ekiton? <laughs> you thought uh... there would be a good... <laughs> <laughs> There'd be, like, new people there and they would need new items for selling. That's, that's where he went. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, so he's a door-to-door -door salesman. Well, we're representative, not exactly. Are you playing my computer? Uh, anyway, um... Yeah, dude, your your KDR fucking stinks in this game. I don't, don't have <laughs> much time to practice. I'm working most of the time. I bumped uh, up your average a couple of decimal points. You should be grateful. Thank you, I guess, for breaking in and improving my... Go to death ratio, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, we're not door to door salesmen. We we go to like corporations, big wigs, and see if they need our products. I mean, I guess we're door to door salesmen, but we're much higher grade than that. We're representatives of a company. Uh, How much here do you on know your... about the company you're representing? You know, kind of actions they conduct. Well. It's true it's not the best i mean the locals don't know the price of their products so we may undercharge them a little but here on in your notes on your pc it says that you still haven't received your bonus what's the matter having problem with your employer oh uh, apparently there's some sort of shake-up going on in the company so it's just gone a little lost apparently it's coming but mm-hmm mm -hmm. Looks like uh, there's a lot of uh, weird stuff going on with the Reed Foundation. You might want to look for a new job place. Seems a bit uh, unstable. Uh, if it starts having things like this happen to me, maybe I should. Here's a... Uh... 
here's the, the score buddy uh, you mentioned uh, where your brother is coming if you contact him so we meet up with him I promise you that we're not gonna hurt him or well jump him like we did you like I said we just wanna talk and we can make it worth it for you and your brother it's a win-win you're a salesman you know uh, what good pitch when you see it how's about we cut a little deal between us all we want is information mm -hmm. help us get it from your brother and we're all gonna walk away from this happy how's that sound let me roll something a second look my my brother wouldn't be interested in that he's not very well he's a bit more brutal than i am so you gotta just leave him alone okay i can probably get the information you need from him myself Tivron, you sensing motive and he is lying mm. um i uh brandish my spear and say we are trying to be civil but if you continue to lie um and he just lets the uh, sentence trail off oh um yeah sorry about that you can't see it but uh, we do kind of have a mystic with us and he's very good with uh, with telling when people are lying i suggest you don't give him any ideas because he's already waving a giant spear at you oh i uh um okay i'll i contact my brother and ask him to meet up but i he won't come back you i'm gonna have to go to him that's fine we'll go just set up a meeting for us oh and uh okay. needless to say if you tell anybody about our little meeting here we'll be back and that and this time oh, no. Wait, i'm not there gonna is... be this nice okay and i'm gonna pat him on the shoulder again would you like to roll me intimidation for that i want to see how yeah. effective it is people can help as well if they case they want to yeah. scare a bit um. <laughs> i am i have a negative one to intimidate <laughs> you just get a zero and he's like oh wow these people are harmless <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't planning on going around threatening people but <laughs> considering how effectively uh, uh, invisible threat took him out i'd say that he's probably pissing his pants right now anyway so he is more than a little spooked yeah Basically, Tivron's probably growling in the background as you're speaking. Yeah. As he goes, okay, yeah, I, I won't say a thing. All right, I, I won't tell Veed or anything. Just, just, uh, <laughs> please don't hurt me. It's like, that's good, because I'd hate to get you banned from this online video game for children. <laughs> Okay, I think that would be like a zero intimidation. <laughs> I would have said Video like, not for children. Dude, if you if you want to intimidate him, you should have gone into his phone, check out what gacha games he plays, and say that uh, you're gonna delete his accounts. <laughs> uh, I think I think Kuzan Kuzan's not trying to scare me; he's just being a jerk. <laughs> I like how Pav has been silent. He's like, I can't take my well, interrogation. Pav not comfortable with the direction this interrogation went, so. <laughs> so yeah, um, the I uh, I guess I, I just want to ask him, like, so, what's like the deal with this fancy control module you got here? What's this thing connected to? Like this this uh -huh. ratty computer? That's uh, the control module that the company gives us to connect to the main servers. Hmm. It's very um, secure, is it? Well, extremely. It's a company service. <sighs> you see, because I'm like genuinely weighing the the risk rewards. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna do it, Kuzan, do it now. Because once we leave, this guy's probably gonna contact the company and tell them to show his credentials. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, you said yourselves, if I basically talked to anyone, you would hurt me. So why would I tell anyone? Besides, it's best for both of us if uh, your employers don't re uh, don't realize that uh, you've been compromised because they might send somebody to take care of you. I'm gonna be honest, what? I don't know how much you know about this company, but you're not working for the stand-up guys you think you are. 
But all we do is sell knickknacks of planets and stuff. That's what we do. Knickknacks that have been stolen, my friend. Maybe not all of them. Some of them for sure. So you might want to rethink your employer stance on things. You think we'd be here if it wasn't an important item that didn't get nicked? If, if we could just buy it back, we would have. Well, you could be pirates and just after all the cool stuff that they have. Have you ever heard of pirates sneaking through your window and taking you out silently? <laughs> I, I, I hate Very that. professional I'm, pirates? I'm entirely <laughs> altruistic. You just logged onto my computer without my permission. How is that altruistic? Listen, listen, what is your login for the, to connect to the server? That won't work. I haven't gotten my new login information. It changes like every like, few days or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look towards Brian. Obviously, I'm not saying her name. I'm just looking towards her and say, uh, <laughs> this guy seems like uh, he's not uh, an unreasonable type. If you tell him the importance of the item, he might be more willing to, you know, help us out. Doesn't seem like a bad fella. I guess, I guess I don't trust any of these monsters who would dare to associate with some someone who would do something so terrible. No, no. Sorry. He is technically mm. just a cog in the machine. He's not mm. that important, so don't give him too much credit. <laughs> you say that, but it is the cogs that let these kinds of things happen. I feel like I was insulted. Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> don't. Uh, if you want to tell him or not, it's up to you. But I feel like him knowing would probably be better for us. Okay, okay. Listen, Trevor. I, I am not usually this um, aggressive and rude. It's this whole situation. I'm not going to lie. Has brought out a very surprising part of myself. I, I sit down in front of him, and I've gotta, I've gotta, I've gotta take off his blindfolds and, and look him in the eyes. Reed Foundation has taken the thing that keeps my people alive. I will stop at nothing to save them, and you unintentionally or not have played a role in that theft do you understand oh that was good he's gonna slowly nod at that so you're at the point in your life where you have a very important decision to make what kind of person you want to be what kind of actions you want to promote if you continue on this path working for these people selling their goods you are now intentionally bringing about the ruin of other people you are devastating their lives you are killing their children and that is on your conscience You can see him, like, quite wide-eyed. He can see all of you now, but he seems to be solely focused on your words. Now I want to know, what are you going to do now that you know? I... If what you're saying is true, then... I will contact my brother. Your brother was on my planet. I saw him. We welcome him into my home. And he knew what he took from us. He had all the knowledge he needed to know that it will devastate everybody. And they took it. And they have no intention to give it back. But 
I, I'm sure he doesn't didn't know. I I don't think my brother would. No, he was there. And she I, she's like bawling at this yeah. point. <laughs> hey, uh, Kuzan, Kuzan just kind of like pipes up. It's like, why don't you give the uh, nice uh, lady here a break and just like give me your password to read? Come on. As I said, I don't have it. If you try logging on with a password I have, it won't work. But I mm. will contact my brother. You do that. Don't worry. Uh, maybe he knew, maybe he didn't. It's fine. I'm sure you have plenty of time uh, to work it out once we're done with him. Again, I promise you, we have no intention of hurting him. We just want back what he took. If you promise, then... And I will contact him. Um, right. I don't intend to leave the same destruction your brother brought to me. I am better than just, that. Just a representative. He could have taken something. I mean, I'm sure he'll explain it once you see him. Let's not get accusatory here. It's a uh, good thank you for the help. I wish we tried this method from the start. You know, talking honestly is always the best way to go about getting things done. Oh, um, I may have forgotten to mention, but since I can see you now, uh, you may want to hide when he comes to see you. He's looking towards you, Aiden. What do you mean? He has a strong dislike of humans. Oh. Eh, Aiden shrugs. I'm sure we can work it out one way or another. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I I will contact him. You I promise you. I'm gonna take his handcuffs off at this point. Hold on, maybe maybe we shouldn't. Maybe they'll just he's already coming to our space station anyway. Do you know of anyone besides your brother who works for the Reed Foundation? Any other contacts you were with? Um well I have Plenty. I mean, the Reed Foundation is a few thousand strong. I want all of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't have an employee document with me. I could tell you some names, but I don't know where they live or anything. They're just co-workers. Who, who was like your supervisor? <laughs> I want to go all the way to the top. <laughs> oh, I don't know where he lives, but his name was... Uh... Can I speak to a manager? Magnus, your manager. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking the whole time I was saying this. <laughs> it's like, well, the supervisor. Uh, let me see. Sorry, I had to cough. But yeah, you see him like get out some more documents. He's like, um, uh, this this is for contact information, but I don't know where he lives or anything. And you see on the paper, it seems like the guy's name was. Tut woman. That was my interpretation of yeah. that. Was <laughs> yeah, me too. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> no, it is. Hang on. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah, you see, here's the problem, Ash. <laughs> uh, try to roll your R's for us. I can't roll my R's, damn it. <laughs> then don't have it's people with R in their name. <laughs> it's like he's just like okay good that's out of the way then um but yeah since you're not gonna hurt him i wish you luck on your travels there then if you get any more correspondence you hear back from your password about your passwords will you reach out to me i will you help i have to be honest then, since you've been honest with me, if I was to do that, I need more evidence. No, and we don't want you to endanger yourself doing that anyway. We're more than capable. We can handle this from here. She likes looks him and scoffs, disgusted, and turns things. <laughs> he looks kind of disappointed that you scoffed at him. And he's like, uh. 
Uh, I just told him that my whole planet's dying, and he's like, I need more evidence than that. Uh, I'm gonna nudge uh, him on the side. Look, don't worry about it, she's just under a lot of stress. Don't worry. Uh, mm. Once we figure some more stuff out uh, about what's going on, uh, we'll send it your way. Maybe that will convince us to help us out. And don't worry, we'll make sure to keep you safe. You to to tell nobody, nobody about us, we tell nobody about you. We watch each other's back. How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, there you go. And besides, if you play your cards right, and things don't work out with the Reed Foundation, maybe we can uh, figure out a better job for you. I mean, this new station that's being built is definitely gonna need a lot of people like you. So, you know, maybe there's uh, a job in it for you somewhere in the future. Who knows? Uh, really? He seems rather yeah. pleased by that. He's like, oh, really? Money? <laughs> <laughs> Aiden is a businessman, yeah. he knows how this works. Don't worry. In, uh, in the same like minutes, you have knocked him out, shoved a cigar down his throat, handcuffed him, and offered him a job. What can I say? As a mercenary, I'm a man of many talents. Listen, if Aiden had a Fulton delivery system, he'd be Fulton and people away. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lean out of a window. What? Click. <laughs> Hey Ash, uh, this is neither here nor there, but uh, can uh, the boys back in base research me a black hole photon system? There is, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but there is a photon system in the game. Perfect, how much? I, I'll take your entire stock. It's it's next to the re-entry armor upgrade. Essentially, you attach the upgrade to the person. So as long as they have an armor slot open, so anybody you find on the ground who has an armor slot open, you just or tear out the other armor upgrade and just fit that on. Just click, tap him, and poof, gone. Perfect. <laughs> uh, incidentally, I just figured out how I'm gonna take out Jackal next time I see him. Next time I see him, if the fight's not going my way, I'll just fall on him. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a minute of him just slashing at me while you're faulting him. This will happen. <laughs> So the guy just looks towards all you, it's like, um, I guess I'll wish you luck then. Right. Well, we'll be uh, out of your hair then. Uh, try and keep your nose clean and out of trouble. We'll uh, contact you once uh, we figure something out. Let us know how, uh, you know, your talk with your brother goes. <coughs> yeah, I, I will. And I I'm gonna give him business protection. information since he's our tech guy and he knows how to deal with probably, you know, uh, By making way. sure information doesn't bite us in the ass. Kuzon, do you have your fake name on the information card that Aiden gives away? Um, what was your normal name? I think I had... I mean, he handed my information card over. I didn't. Yet. <laughs> I don't hand. I don't. I don't deal in physical cards. <laughs> the important thing: Are you giving him your fake name or your real name? Ah, uh, now I'll give him my real name. Actually, I'm kind ah, of done okay. with fake names. So yeah, he takes your fake. It's like, oh, okay. Right. Okay. I'll. I guess I'll uh, get ready for the raid tonight then. Die. Gaming, you know, it's weekend. And... Okay, if you're probably calm me down after being attacked and handcuffed to a chair and blindfolded. <laughs> I uh, Kuzan's like, I changed your sensitivity settings. You should be much better at shooting things now. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, my my guild leader keeps complaining that I'm a bit too well slow in reacting. So uh, I hope that'll help. Also, word of advice, you might want to change the lock on your window. I'm going to be changing a lot of locks. <laughs> Very fair. Sorry for traumatizing you. Um, if you want to know more about us, the people that broke into your home, check out my stream at switch.tv slash your <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. When, when he says that... <laughs> When he says that, uh, Aiden looks towards Brian and just says, you know, in hindsight, maybe you could have told him that story without removing the blindfold. Uh... I, just, I, want to, I want to imagine that, like, Kuza just, <laughs> just, like, has, like, a can of, like, energy, just, just, like, grabs a can of energy drink up this guy's desk and then, like, gets in really close and just does a selfie with holding the energy drink up to his face. <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> it's like, you didn't stream this to anyone, right? You... 
a no, no, no. Fetish. This was a this was a this was a covert mission. You oh, okay. Any highlights from this one? Okay. Just this, make sure you don't include anything where I live or anything, because they know. I think this picture is just funny because <laughs> I walked away with the. <laughs> the yeah, snap she's watching. Him, pressing an pressing an energy drink into the guy's face and smiling. <laughs> yeah, he's watching like who's on take the image and then walking off. It's like okay, bye. Um, <laughs> By the way, isn't it gonna be weird if um, uh, how many people do we have uh, plus uh, Grabby? Isn't it gonna be weird if five people came up to the apartment but six people leave? Maybe I should leave out the window. <laughs> uh, well, they won't care. They probably think that I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Up. Relax, man. You, you really are under okay. a lot of stress. You know what? Uh, maybe you should stop drinking. Coffee. I wonder why. why? <laughs> maybe you should uh, switch out to some tea. You know, relax. Put uh, put on a little uh, light chest. Relax, man. Like, what are you being so strung up about? What do you mean, I strung up about. He invaded his home and his sanctuary. Uh, kind of the worst thing you can do to a person. Oh, come on. Oh, it's mercenary one-on-one. -on -one. This is like normal stuff. By the way, Ryan, as you're looking like around and generally as the others are talking with the guy you just assaulted, uh, you notice that there was another piece of paper below the one he put on the desk. Oh, what is? Let, let me look. I look, I look. It seems like there were more items included from your home planet that were meant for sale. What were they? It seems like there was an additional staff weapon of your people. Basically, it's um, a crystal staff that allows you to change between several modes of slashing, bludgeoning, stuff like that. Basically, crystal forming across the staff as you wish to change. You can also fire the crystal out in order to do damage. Oh. Also, it seems like he was also selling another one of those spell crystals. A lesser one than it was in the thing, but seems like that's what he had. Or has. Doesn't seem like there's a receipt on this. Um... Trevor, these other items, do you still have them? Huh? Um... Uh, yes. I mean, they're locked away in the safe, but I still have them. How much were you going to sell them for? What were you going to do with them? Oh, well... Uh, selling stuff like that normally requires we contact things like collectors. The guy at the fair didn't want them. Uh, it says he only liked the expensive, uh, you know, the crystal rock thing. Uh, the staff, though, uh, I could quickly look it up if you're interested. I could try making a sale out of this. Maybe I could pretend that people were just coming over for, you know, a, a sale. There it is, your salesman sense. Good man. Chalk us up some prices. Let's see what you got. Uh, sh sure. One one moment. And he's like, so, sorry, like, okay, suddenly I'm selling things. Okay, uh, uh this one? Uh, no, this one? By the way, just so we're clear, because I really like this guy, if we ever have to visit him again, uh, just for old time's sake, I'm gonna enter through his window and probably tap him on the back. <laughs> That's what you do to the people you like? I'm just messing with him. <laughs> Nobody gets hurt. It's not game. like I'm gonna put a knife to his back. It's fine, it's our game, it's what we do, come on! <laughs> Mercenary life, man, it hardens you, what can I say? It's fine, guys! It's black humor, you know, just like doctors joke about death and shit. It's fine. Yeah, this guy's like middle management, he's not like as tempered by battle. <laughs> yeah, well, doctors have a weird sense of humor with their patients, and I think that's inappropriate, so Aiden's inappropriate, and there you go. <laughs> Okay. It's been so... such a fucking roller coaster with this guy, just saying. For real. <laughs> well, well, I could send it to your ship, but uh I I guess we could talk about price. Uh sorry, uh one second. Uh normally I sell these for hundreds of thousands, you understand. <laughs> He's clearly lying. He's just trying to like uh, <clears throat> He's nervous as hell. I know the value of these items. Uh, let's see. 
this one's worth around about. Uh... Well, in all fairness, Brian, the uh, values on your planet would be way different from the values out here. You have to think of the middleman upfeed, you know, the transportation costs. Exactly. She like, she like, she like, looks at it like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, I, I was gonna buy a Prava, why are you helping the enemy salesman? Because at this point we're enemies. He's a salesman and we're customers. That makes us enemies. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we shouldn't completely screw this guy. We did kind of bust into his home. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, the the crystal, that. it's, uh, the crystal itself is worth a few, like, thousand, um, round about four thousand or so. It's, well, if any spell that's, uh, level, I believe, uh, two or lower, uh, let me see. Uh, okay, about three thousand, we call it, yeah, yeah, uh, any spell that's level two or lower, can, you can break the stone and level it up. That's uh, that's that's one. Um, you also have the staff. That's more on the cheaper side, you know, around about uh, one thousand two hundred or so. What's the staff mm. do anyway? <clears throat> and he get he's like it always says a sales pitch. He goes, it is a two-handed though. It looks like it acts like a basic melee weapon. It's uh. Is able to deal one d six of damage. <laughs> That's GM uh, talk now. Uh, I, I'm saying, please explain <laughs> it to us in an RPG term. <laughs> yes, of course. One d six of damage from your choice of bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing damage. Of course, that's of your choice. Uh, let's see. It can be used as a small arm, uh, switching to a uh, range mode by swift action. And um, the shot has a penetrating uh, attack. It consumes one charge of its, uh, let's see, a four, uh, 30 capacity on its um, magical gem. Yeah, it also deals 26 damage. Sounds like a pretty nifty little item. It is highly adaptable. I would, I would like it, please. <laughs> oh, of, of course. Uh, let me see. Uh, I can prepare. There we go. Yeah, puts for papers. Uh, I could set a small discount if you promise about my brother. I have already given you the biggest promise I could ever give. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, th then, uh, only only 1,000. Thank you. I will apologize again for coming into your home the way we did. It is hard to tell when you are dealing with a situation like this, who you're going to face on the other side. So we erred on the side of caution. And I, I know that it was unfair to you. Um, but I hope you leave this day with a newfound knowledge and make right choices in the future. I promise I'll be careful. Good. In fact, right, I'm not even report this. I've been selling the staff. I may just keep the money. Yes, I, I'm not going to judge you for that. Don't give the money to these scoundrels. That sounds like a, a very, very good idea. Uh, just let me... Hey, it's like looking through. I'll find a picture later for it. Essentially, I'm going to put out the information here. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> So, what are you guys going to be doing while uh, she's bought the weapon? I'm going to finish my cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm just going to like print out 
and hand him a sheet that just shows all my recommended rebinds. <laughs> oh, all the cute. <laughs> Seems like the he's book? in a guild. Uh, I'm gonna raise my voice a little bit. Grave, stop poking through his stuff. He doesn't have anything good anyway. Come on, let's go. She looks disappointed. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> Much disappointed. <laughs> Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh... So, if you're leaving, then essentially the guard will let you leave quite easily. On the way out, I'm gonna give the guard uh, the finger guns. <laughs> Let's see. The guard just looks up to you and gives you a small nod. So, mm -hmm. I just you know, want you guys to know that I legitimately started crying during my speech. I have never done that before. <laughs> you really That's got the character, speech. huh? <laughs> I'm a little too into it. It was good. Like I was yeah. looking around stuff for like to what to do, but I was like, wow, this is this is uh, heavy. <laughs> Like better than anything I would have said. <laughs> yep, yeah, that was pretty cool. Cool, 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 cool. Out of character, like, considering oh, how oh, rarely oh. I get crits, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting free crits on that infiltration. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Super stealthy. Like, just, oh just my steal, god. Just seal Team Six, this one guy in his apartment, and then like you go to the Mega Corp and you like trip over the first stone in the pavement, and you fall over, and yeah. it's just like, hey, oh. look, whatever it is, that's the highlight for me. I enjoyed that a lot, and I don't regret my life choices. Okay. There you go. <laughs> One moment. Right. So, are you going back to the car? Yep. And what are you going to be doing now? Um, I think we need to head back to the station, like our station, it right? Sounds like this guy's coming to us. So I mean, um, I guess I'll fix up. I'll find. I'll go back to the ship and uh, fix this guy up. Uh a new eyeball with a filament that or a new a couple of new like light bulbs with filaments that don't break made out of like uh just refining some of the scrap that i have access to i'll spend a little bit of time doing that i did tell him i'd make him some eye his some light bulbs and it seems like you know relying on wizards is annoying <laughs> um t Ron is also going to put that glamoring um fusion on it so he can make it look like a candle's flame if he wants if you're going to do that and if you send it to him but just before like as you're going towards the ship or do you do it on the ship on the ship um okay i think i need so, to do it on the ship yeah, right, yeah i need so, my uh, workshop to do that. all right then i believe we shall present the ship to ryan because she has not seen it yet well character wise Yay. The Perseverance. The ship is rather ornate in its design. Very fancy compared to your group. Well, everybody probably but Pravo or Tiveron, who's wearing fancier clothing. Yes. I hold this, uh, I hold this baby out of an asteroid and uh beautiful it's it's beautiful it spoke to me <laughs> it is a lovely vessel it uh <laughs> kuzan kind of uh taps it and it's like this baby is the fastest most lethal delivery ship that you'll find on this side of the pack worlds you should see our engines <laughs> also he has the best pilot in the galaxy um eh. <laughs> I'm gonna no, 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 this is pretty good, yep. Well I'm gonna glare at Kuzun as he says that. 
<laughs> we're just there's gonna be a scene where like we're like Chris Pratt and Rocket just like <laughs> trying to t both trying to take control of the ship. <laughs> but um, I we do I actually did make a battle map for this. Ah uh, yes, Ooh. probably in my. Is that your weird segue of saying that one day we're gonna be fighting over who pilots the ship? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have but, to see, uh, uh, see my thing, picture somewhere. So the thing with the ship is when you enter it, so like it opens up at the front, so like the front kind of drops down, and that's the cargo bay is like the nose of it. So like Kuzan, you probably walk in and like all of Kuzan's like he just has scrap upon scrap just like piled up, like it just is hoard in here. <laughs> And uh, oh. he has a few loader bots and Oswald is a giant robot. We also have Ooh. fancy quarters. Yeah. These are lovely little. She goes around and introduces herself to every one of the robots. <laughs> well, it probably goes to get the crew to introduce it there too. Oh, whoa! Approved. You guys keep the ship. Tip top, good work, little buddies. Yes, there are there are robots running around, but the ones that you talk to do not respond. However, there is a rather large one that looks down towards you. He's very ornate in his design. He goes, "Madam, uh, they cannot speak." Just because they cannot speak does not mean they do not understand. That is true. One should be careful for not an or oh, a robot uprising. Oh, there we go. I got his picture too. <laughs> Absolutely. That is what the big robot looks like. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> I don't know why, but he reminds me of a firebot. <laughs> Probably because of big and red. Yeah, and all the like smoke and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, it yes. Was... Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say it's lovely to meet you. What is this robot's name? Oswald. 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 He was a uh, Kuzon, so like he, it's like he's an old battle droid, but uh, he got repurposed into a servant slash entertainment bot. Oh, entertainment! What kind of shows do you do? He does the robot. Uh, Hey! He knows, he, knows all, he knows all the best movies and can get you popcorn and everything. Oh, I would like to have this pop of corn. <laughs> Oswald, do you want to fetch this nice lady some popped corn? Of course. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and then Kuzan has his workshop and uh, Tivron has his fancy arcane station. I don't know what he does in there, but I keep the door <laughs> sealed and sometimes weird sounds come out. That being said, you do see that uh, given that there are people actually on your ship right now delivering the parts that you need, Kuzon, to build your boarding bots. Oh, yes. <laughs> My children. <laughs> and uh, so in the center of the ship, so like when you get to kind of the back portion, there's like a very large blue uh, power core. That's kind of like uh, we've invested a lot <laughs> into like energy shielding and into thrusters. So we have a thick power core. <laughs> oh, that is very important. <laughs> Blowing up in space seems like a bad way to go. When we have oh. the money, I want to reinforce the hull, but for now, uh, we rely mostly on energy shields and running away. <laughs> it's not running away, mm. it's advancing in the other direction. <laughs> we did just get a fancy new gun. Brian, you're magically inclined, right? Ah, uh, yes. Come check this baby out. 
And as so, you yeah. go, Grabby actually falls along with you because you didn't bother, you didn't drop her off. <laughs> I was about to say that I grab Grabby by the cower, lift her up, and say, "Right, well, you guys have fun. Show the new uh, person around the place. I'm gonna go drop off Grabby back in HQ." Oh come on! At least let her see the sister Alicia <laughs> before you send her off. She's looking up to you through the dragon mask with puppy dog eyes. It don't just size. Fine, you can go and play with the giant weapon of mass destruction, but after that you're going home. <laughs> <laughs>